All right. <clears throat> Math 2, here we go. This is solving exponential equations. Notice there's no logarithms. That's a new word for us. You probably don't even know what that is because we haven't even looked at that yet. We'll do it tomorrow, though. But right now, this is solving exponential equations um, without using logarithms. So the first thing I'd recognize is just try to read this out loud. Okay. Um, if I read this out loud, uh, I know that it says 7 to what number will equal 7 to the 4th. We'll think for a second. 7 to what number will equal 7 to the 4th? Well, since the 7's are the same, x must be a 4, and that's what I did. And that really tells us our rule that we're going to use, that if two bases of two exponents, or actually exponential expressions, are equal, then those exponents must be equal. All right, and let's look at this first example and see what I'm, see what I'm talking about. Now, this is really what I'm saying out loud. I wouldn't ever really write that down. Okay, um, but in, out loud, I'm thinking to myself, 5 to what number is equal to 5 to the 3x plus 8? Well, look, aren't the 5s the same? So if the 5s are the same bases, then the exponents must be the same. They must be equal, right? So, like I said, this I would never write down, but I would write down x equals 3 plus 8. The two exponents have to be equal. And look, the 5 actually has nothing to do with it. Now you take this and you just solve. And I find out that x has to equal negative 4. Now, we took a moment to take that negative 4 and we plugged it in our calculator here. And we plugged it in our calculator here to find out if they were the same. And guess what? They were. So you can do the same thing on your own. Second example. I want you to notice that I have two bases that are equal to each other. Two bases that are the same, a 3 and a 3. Well, that means, on a little side note, three dots means therefore, as a little side note. Anyways, if the two bases are the same, that means the exponents must be the same, or must be equal. So, my equation is 4 times x plus 2 equals 3x plus 4. And from there, I just solve. and we get that x is negative 7. Again, we plug that in our calculator here and here and check to see if it's the same. Now, if we notice on this example, we no longer have bases that are equal, do we? So, we're going to make the bases equal. And the question is, how can I do that? So, 16, I think to myself, how can I make 16 the same thing as 4? Well, isn't 16 the same as 4 squared? Okay, so if 16 is the same thing as 4 squared, if 16 is the same thing as 4 squared, then I can rewrite that as 4 squared. And then I still have the x to the minus 5. And of course, that's equal to, to um, 4 to the 5x. Now, from math 1, we remember that if I have a power raised to another power, and that means multiply. It's power raised to a power. So I'm looking at this situation. Now my bases are the same. Now the exponents must be equal. So I solve a little mini equation to get x is negative 10 thirds. Take your time to chew on that for a while before you go to the next problem. Next problem. <clears throat> Again, my bases are no longer the same here, but I've got enough number sense to realize that 2 to the 3rd power will give me an 8, and 2 to the 5th power will give me a 32. So I recognize I could rewrite these as bases of 2. So on the left, I rewrite it as 2 to the third power, and then I have my x plus 4. Of course, that's power to power, so I multiply. And on the right, I didn't address it, but 1 over 32, that really means a negative exponent. So instead of saying 2 to the fifth, it's really 2 to the negative fifth. So I wrote it as 2 to the negative fifth, and then again, power to power and you end up with two bases that are the same, so you set the exponents equal and solve.
Okay. There's one more to look at. Again, take your time, chew on these, run through them as many times as you need to. There's one more to look at, um, and it has to do with our inequalities, which isn't a big deal. Uh, if you'll think about it, okay, if you'll think about it right here, if 3 to the x is less than 3 to the 5th, then think about it, the x must be less than 5. You're just going to follow the same rule. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is all of these rules follow the same. You're just going to use your inequalities instead. So on this side, I rewrite the 9 as 3 to the 2nd. Now because I have a power to a power, I will multiply those. Um, but I'll do that in a minute. I'll go ahead and write this down here. And then I can multiply and solve my inequality sign. I don't remember if you have any inequalities, but if you were to have inequalities, just don't forget. Anytime you have uh, multiply or divide by negative, you should flip the sign. Guys, that's really all we're doing. Uh, you got the 1 through, I forget what it is, 20, I think, on the... Uh, 1 through 20 on the worksheet. I will have all the answers posted on the worksheet, so do check your answers. Make sure you got the work that goes with them.